Are you at the start of your cloud learning journey wondering if it's too late to learn AWS, Azure or Google Cloud? If so, you're not alone. The tech industry has changed drastically over the past few years. COVID led to a boom in cloud jobs and now we're seeing layoffs across the industry. Amazon alone has laid off over 27,000 employees over the past two years. Now, I don't want to start off this video by sounding all negative, so let me tell you the silver lining in all of this. As AI becomes more widespread, the demand for cloud skills will continue to grow with it. This is because AI relies heavily on cloud infrastructure to function. In fact, the cloud industry is expected to reach a $600 billion market value by the end of this year. And so, is it too late to learn cloud computing in 2024? Yes and no. In this video, we're going to explore the pros and cons of starting a cloud career, and more importantly, what no one tells you about when it comes to building cloud skills. I'll be sharing five key factors to consider and provide my completely honest opinion as an ex-AWS solutions architect. For those who are new here, my name is Lucy and over the past three years I've helped hundreds of people build their technical skills and land a job in the cloud. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for weekly videos just like this one. I also have a free email newsletter called cloudbytes.ai where I share bite-sized learning tips on cloud and AI. So feel free to sign up to that as well. All right, let's get into it. First off, what is the state of cloud computing in 2024? Well, when I started my journey as an AWS solution architect back in 2021, the industry was booming. As a result of the pandemic, many businesses were forced to move their operations online, and this led to a massive increase in cloud adoption. AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud all saw significant growth in their revenue and user base. And with that, of course, met more open positions. Roles like solutions architect, cloud engineer, and cloud consultant had so many job postings. But as we all know, by the end of 2022, the landscape started to shift. Tech layoffs began to happen, and one by one, companies introduced hiring freezes and some even removed entire teams and departments. At the same time, ChatGPT was released to the world, leading to even more uncertainty and fears that AI will replace tech jobs. However, what no one tells you is that cloud and AI actually go hand in hand to help each other. Cloud computing is part of what makes AI possible by providing scalable, cost-efficient and accessible resources for developers. AI has also brought new services and use cases for the cloud. For example, Amazon Bird Rock and Azure AI Studio were released last year to help people deploy AI models quickly and easily. Now, this is a really important point to consider because even though the cloud market appears to be mature, it doesn't mean that things will slow down in the long term. There's still plenty of room for growth, especially as AI will continue to require more and more cloud resources. What's great about this is that cloud computing skills will continue to be in demand. AWS in particular has remained the market leader for nearly 20 years, so if you're deciding which cloud provider to go for, AWS AWS would be the one I recommend learning. However, the downside is that competition has also increased. With more people entering the cloud space, standing out can be tougher. I also need to mention that advances in AI could remove the need for some junior level cloud skills like basic configuration, monitoring, and maintenance. Unfortunately, the bar for entry level jobs definitely seem to be higher now because employers are looking for skills and experience that go beyond just knowing the fundamentals. And this brings us to the second key factor to consider, which is the hidden complexity of cloud cloud computing. When I first started learning AWS, I very quickly realized that there were so many gaps in my knowledge. The cloud is much more than just learning a platform like AWS or Azure. It requires a base understanding of IT concepts like networking, compute, storage, security, and much more. What you need to know is that companies are not simply looking for someone who can spin up an EC2 instance in the cloud. You should also be able to understand the underlying concepts and know how cloud computing fits in with the rest of the IT world. The advantage to this is that developing a strong foundation in cloud, IT, and AI will make you a valuable asset to companies. Of course, it's going to take more time and you might have to put in more hours than you initially expect, but the payoff will be worth it. The con to this though is that the learning curve can be steep, especially if you're someone completely new to tech. It can be quite easy to feel overwhelmed by the amount of knowledge you'll need to have in order to land a cloud job. Now, what I recommend doing is to set three separate study plans, one for IT, one for cloud, and one for AI. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to make a video on how I'd structure these plans. To build your IT skills, I'd recommend completing the Google IT Support Certification offered by Coursera. This is a program designed by Google that offers a comprehensive pathway to understand the fundamentals of IT. No prior knowledge is required and by the end of the program, you'll be equipped with the skills needed for an entry-level IT job. I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. Now, the third key factor to consider when learning cloud computing is the limitations 
of certifications. What I mean by this is that certifications will only get you so far. Earning five AWS certifications was definitely something important for my own career and my learning, but certifications alone are not enough to land you a job. This is because most exams are simple multiple choice quizzes and don't really assess your actual understanding of a topic. What companies really want to know when hiring a candidate is whether or not you have actual hands-on experience with working in the cloud. This could be in the form of personal projects, internships, or even freelance work. Now that you know about the limitations of cloud certifications, it's definitely something you can take advantage of. Instead of spending months preparing for multiple certs, build cloud projects as soon as you can. These projects can then be put on your resume or portfolio to showcase your hands-on skills. One drawback to this is that it can be hard to know what projects to build. Certifications can at least provide you with a structured learning roadmap, but where do you even start for cloud projects? To help with this, I've created a course called Beginner AWS Cloud Projects, where I provide the complete step-by-step -step guide to creating five unique cloud projects on AWS. It's something you can complete in just a weekend, and I have the detailed instructions all packed inside. There's also a Slack community included for you to ask questions if you run into any issues with building. I'll have a link to it in the description below for you to have a look, and you can use the code YouTube10 for 10% off. The next factor I wanted to mention is the need for continuous learning. Everyone working in the cloud has to play the long game because as cheesy as it sounds, it's about the journey, not the destination. The benefit to this is being able to stay updated with the latest technologies and trends. You'll always be equipped with fresh skills that are in demand and you won't fall behind if you keep learning and adapting. Plus, if you have a real interest or passion for tech, it can be really fun to learn through conferences, by building side projects and expanding your skills in your spare time. Of course, the con to this is if you don't like the idea of continuous learning. To some of you, it may sound exciting but for others, it can be quite exhausting. Cloud providers are constantly introducing new services and updates, so it could feel like a never ending cycle. This can be challenging, especially if you're balancing work, family, and other responsibilities. But to be completely honest with you, most fields in tech are like this, and it's not something really unique to cloud. The good news is that all the skills you build will be transferable in some way or another. And that's what I want to discuss with you in this final factor. The final factor to consider is the value of transferable skills. Now, one of the biggest advantages of learning cloud technologies is that the skills you develop aren't just limited to one industry. They're going to be applicable across a whole range of fields. As a solutions architect, for example, you develop skills in areas like problem solving, project management, and leadership. This means that if you ever decide to pivot your career outside of the cloud, you'll have transferable skills to make that transition easier for you. The great thing about cloud skills is that they're pretty highly sought after. You can use them to manage data, enhance security, or optimize IT systems in different industries. For example, cloud security is important in finance and data storage is important in the healthcare space. On the other hand though, while cloud skills can be transferred between industries, you'll need to adapt them to meet your specific role. For example, working in health care might require you to understand specific regulations like HIPAA if you're in the US and this differs to general cloud security practices. And so what I'm saying is while the core skills are transferable, you'll still need to upskill and tailor your skills to fit the industry that you're in. All right, let's return to the question, is cloud computing still worth learning in 2024 or is it too late to start your journey? By considering all the factors in this video, we can see that entering the cloud space is still a smart move, but it's just not as easy as it was a few years ago. While the bar for cloud talent may be rising though, there are still plenty of opportunities for those with the right mindset, knowledge and skills. I believe that cloud is the future and I hope you'll join me on this journey. Thanks so much for watching and check out this playlist to start learning. All right, bye for now.